Don't call it a comeback. Been here for years. <laughs> Hi, table tennis players. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new surroundings. Um, but we're on a table. First time in 2021. First time in God knows how long, probably you know, over a year since March 2020. I know you've been here now a lot. But I am happy to be back to a table tennis table to shoot some tutorials, to talk table tennis, to do anything table tennis, and you know, maybe occasionally play a game or two. And we all know that 80% of the time we'll be chasing the ball, but still, that's why we love the sport. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to hold, how to grip the racket for this pendulum and for the reverse pendulum serve. So this is not gonna be how to do the serve, this is gonna be how to hold and grip the racket and where to put your fingers. And a little tutorial on how to start practicing, you know, the first baby steps between making a contact on the racket with the ball. Because it is, it is very hard, especially for the reverse pendulum. So stay tuned until the very end. But yeah, let's get started. So step number one of three is that you need to learn how and where to place this racket on your hand that you're gonna grip it with, or actually hold it. Because you're not actually gonna grip the in reverse pendulum like you would do with backhand service. This is a bit more complex. So follow me. So what you have to do is take empty the uh, empty, have the hand free that you're gonna hold it with for now. Make a fist, make a water gun, okay? Then take out a trigger, right? With the middle finger, take out the trigger. So it kind of looks like this. What you do then is Take the racket and make sure the blade is inside of your body, inside of your forearm and inside of your body, not on the outside, right? Now, try to balance the racket on these two fingers that are taken out, just trying to balance it. So the, index, so the middle finger is gonna go up a little bit, so it's leveled up. You know you're not balancing it well enough is if this blade, when moving, hits your forearm, see that? It means it's structured and you can't create that much spin. So what you want to try and do is make sure it's balanced. And when you rotate, it's free. See that? It's all free. Now put your thumb on the logo of the rubber. That's step number one, okay? So step number two is um, when you have balanced it out. See that? When you just have balanced it out on these two fingers. These two bottom fingers, just, just tuck them in. Okay, they're, they're not necessary right now. The most important part is putting the trigger finger Okay, the middle finger in between the blade and the rubber, right here. So when you are balanced it out, put this finger tucked in right there. See the way that's kind of like lower down, that's in between there because it's going to create the, the grip itself tension between contact of the ball and the rubber when you rotate. When you get better, I'll show you what to do in a minute when you get better, but for now, make sure it's in here so you grip it properly so there's enough tension between the racket and the ball and when you wrist it out and you can create the necessary spin that you're looking for. And that there is the secret. The third finger, the third step is just whatever suits you. Some people put it here, some people put it there. It doesn't really matter. And so as long as you can create tension by pressing down the rubber with the thumb and helpful balance with the trigger finger being in the blade. And then when you do your serve, See, it will not fly off. When you get better, you can start moving all those three fingers more on the side of the racket. So the thumb goes to the side, this finger goes more to the side, and then the trigger goes more on the wood part. And that's the advanced version. But for now, make sure the trigger finger is tucked in in between the blade and the rubber. And that way you're gonna have a nice little grip when you do your reverse pendulum serve. So that's the finished product. Trigger, trigger finger goes in here between the blade and rubber to balance it out. Thumb goes on the logo of the front rubber and that finger just goes very flexible. And that way when you rotate, the blade is not going in your forearm. So you create a nice spin coming in, coming out for the reverse pendulum and for the pendulum surf. Before you go, let me show you the baby steps you, you can try doing, practicing the reverse surf and the pendulum surf. So when you have the the fingers and the grip of the pendulum and reverse pendulum in place this is the best way you can practice to serve. For the pendulum, all you have to do is go up outside of your body and run the, and throw the ball in front of you and run across it. And that's it, run across it. If it needs to be, you can start more square or more sideways, whatever you 
wherever is easier for you and that's how you can practice and you can already see a bit of spin if you hold it side, sideways enough and reverse pendulum is the same but obviously reverse left shoulder and run across and this is the best way you can start practicing because in the end what's going to happen is you're going to just be more sideways to it and use a bit more wrist but the fact is you're still going to use that same motion especially in pendulum side spin and whatever if it's for back spin for the reverse pendulum as well but yeah that's the reverse pendulum sort of how to grip how to hold it make sure you practice the con connectivity a little bit before you're trying to even practice this serve uh, right here yeah that was very cool i'm not even joking that was very cool first serve of the year right i'll take that i will take that Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe. If you have any more suggestions, what videos to do, just leave a comment. And I will see you next time.